does this person have a dirty neck? I think a lot of people might say yes, but the answer actually is no. The darkening around their neck is not dirt. It's actually something called acanthosis nigricans. Now, acanthosis nigricans is actually a medical condition. You can see it's darkened, a darkened area. Sometimes the area looks velvety. Um, there are plaques kind of on the skin, and we often see this darkened area around our neck, um, but we can also see it around our armpits, our groin, and other areas as well. Now, we're talking about it because I need you to know that this is not just a dirty neck. Why? Because, number one, a lot of people are unfairly judged for cleanliness when other people see a neck that looks like this. This is not dirt. Number two, a lot of people who have this feel very self-conscious and don't understand. And then number three, this is super important to know about because acanthosis nigricans condition actually could signal an underlying medical condition. That's right. This condition is actually most commonly associated with other medical conditions that are characterized by insulin resistance. You may be saying, what's insulin resistance? Well, it's when our, our cells, basically the cells in our muscles, fat and liver, don't respond to insulin well and can't easily take up sugar from the blood. And the thing about insulin resistance is we often see it in people who are overweight or obese or people who have diabetes. In fact, obesity and diabetes are the most frequently associated disorders, um, again, associated with acanthosis nigricans. Now, it's also associated with other conditions as well, such as PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. And I'm going to tell you other things that it's associated with as well. So you see why we're talking about this? Having a neck in particular, and I keep pointing out a neck because this is such a common place to see it. Having a neck that looks like this is not a problem because it's a dirty neck, because it's not a dirty neck. It's actually potentially a problem because it could sig signal an underlying medical condition. Okay. Now you should know that acanthosis nigricans can affect both men and women, as well as infants, children, and adults. Okay. But as I mentioned, yes, obesity and diabetes are the most common conditions associated with acanthosis nigricans, but there are other conditions that can as well. Besides obesity and diabetes, there are other endocrine and metabolic conditions that can cause someone to have this acanthosis nigricans. Things like PCOS, as I mentioned, polycystic ovarian syndrome, right? And, and especially conditions that are associated with this insulin resistance. I should have said this earlier, but I have a video on insulin resistance. I'm going to make sure I link it here, okay? And I... I'm good to, I'll link it at the end too, because I think it's really important. If you don't see it, let me know. Okay. The other thing is acanthosis nigricans uh, may also be associated with certain genetic syndromes. It can be genetic. It can also be familial, meaning it can run in families. Uh, it could also indicate that there is some type of cancer in the body. That's another reason why this is important to take note of. It could also be a reaction from certain medications. Certain medications can predispose us to having this condition. So you see why I say this is not a dirty neck and it's also important for us to know if we have it. Um, back to the acanthosis nigricans, all right? So as we're looking at it, what do we see again? Thickened, velvety, almost sometimes it can look like a warty sort of hyperpigmented plaques on the skin. Again, the back of, of the neck, we see it, the sides of the neck. Neck, the armpits, we often see it. We can get it sort of in the anal genital region. You can get it in skin folds and other places as well. Um, and so it can happen in multiple parts in the body. This is not dirt, okay? And as I say that, let me remind you or let you know that scrubbing your skin is not going to help this. It's not going to get this. It's not going to get rid of this. Um, you want to just gently clean your skin. You don't want to try to bleach it or scrub it or use over-the-counter exfoliating treatments because that's not going to help. Um, what actually is is going to help is treating the underlying cause, okay? So if it's obesity, you know, losing weight may very well help. If it's a medication that's causing this condition, your doctor reevaluating your medications and potentially stopping things or changing things around may help. Um, you know, treating other underlying conditions that may be causing it, whether it's you know, your diabetes or PCOS may help. I should also say that dermatologists have a lot of uh, tools in their toolkit, and they may also have certain medications or uh, treatments that may help uh, the appearance of this acanthosis nigricans. But let me say once again, this is is not dirt. Do not judge yourself if you have this. Do not judge other people and make sure you're seeing your doctor to look for an underlying cause and then work to treat that. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen, practicing family physician, on your health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. And also go to my free health newsletter. Sign up for it, drjencaudle.com. Love y'all.